All right. We are recording. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. I liked your picture this morning of the sunrise. That was beautiful. That was really good. That was all John. Um, but, and he has been taking pleasure in the little things, which is good. So, <laughs> but that means you were, you were up at the crack, weren't you? Yes. I was up at 5 a.m. I had to make sure I had a shower in, right? <laughs> Sorry, ladies, like through, through the week, there's, I go a couple days without taking a shower, but I still have it in me that before I present myself, I feel like I have to get a shower in at least. So I'm okay. I don't so. think you're alone in that. I don't think you're alone in that. <laughs> Probably not. You know, I think most of us, but you know, I think through COVID and being home, you know, yoga pants are a thing. <laughs> Especially we're walking every day. So, um, you know, I, I put on my pants and, you know, we're walking and sometimes we're doing two walks, one in the morning, one in the afternoon or the evening. And so if that's the case, then I don't want to, you know, change multiple times a day because I don't right. want to do laundry, you know, yep. so. <laughs> what's the lesser of two evils? I don't know. I wear the same pair of jeans five days a week, pop them in the, <laughs> <laughs> I put on sweatpants in the weekend and I wash my pair of jeans and good enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'm all about, you know, the times to dress up and boy, do I miss going to the office though at the same time, because I really want to put on my nice work clothes and my heels. And I love that too. Yeah. And, you know, my jewelry, you know, and stuff like that. So I miss all of my my fun jewelry that I would match with my outfits and all that fun stuff. But you know what? I put on heels the other day because I was like, I'm going to dress up today, right? And I put on my heels and my hips hurt so much by the end of the day. I was like, why am I doing this? We're going to have to start when we go back to the office. We're going to have to start in flats and then work our way up and get a little bit taller, a little bit taller. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of taller, I, I need to get one of those like posture things that like makes you sit up straight. So I have a few things today. Um, so one of the things I wanted to talk about was wrinkles. It's my least favorite subject. I know. But necessary. And here's why I want to bring it up. Not your wrinkle, not your crow's feet, not the wrinkles we all expect. Tell me a wrinkle you did not expect as you got older. Well, I have a, so in my makeup classes in college, right? We, we would do theater makeup. And so you had to like figure out where you were gonna age so that you could age yourself and it would look realistic on stage, right? Cause so if you like, this is why I'm really good at making ridiculous faces because <laughs> I, I had to. But if you like, you know, scrunched up certain parts of your face you were gonna see where the, I'll tell you where, what I didn't expect. And this is a little TMI, ladies, but we're all in the same boat. I did not expect for my vaginal lips to get wrinkly. Right? I don't, what is that? That's, I don't know. And, I, you know, so Maybe. Danielle and I did a, did a COVID safe um, visit to a, a female doctor here in town recently who's going to be, oh, I have her book right here. So um, she's going to be joining us for um ask an expert um in a video soon so watch for that her name is dr ariana Scholz douglas so we went to her office and she was telling us about all of these things that she's seen in her patients and everything and and we were like yeah we can so <laughs> relate so relate and you know um there's not to my knowledge a topical out there for your vaginal lips you know like you can put limp <laughs> can you imagine putting a lip plumper on your other set of lips and <laughs> just no <laughs> just no but it's that i didn't expect that yeah so here's my two that i've been noticing and i'll tell you oh i forgot to bring it over and i was going to even show you so one for me is my chest right here. So I'm larger chested. So when I sleep and I don't sleep in any kind of support, it's just, you know, we gotta free ourselves sometimes and bedtime freeing ourselves. So, <laughs> but they squish together when you lay on your side or whatever. So I have these wrinkles so bad on my chest. And for years, 
years. So even my mother-in-law was like, well, you should sleep with a pillow, you know, and, and I've tried like, but nothing stays there. Right. So nothing stays put to keep them from squishing and wrinkling. So I found a breast pillow and it goes on like a razor back and it literally sits. <laughs> Wait, you were just talking about freeing yourself. <laughs> but I'm so you- free, like I am. Oh, but it's just, it goes right in between. And so it just adds like that support and doesn't let them squish together. <laughs> you sleep with that? Yes, it was really? not that bad. It's not that bad. I also have like a silicone patch. So like, you know, yeah, I've you seen those and then the, put the silicone and they work pretty good, but they're expensive. And I don't know, you know, you have to remember to put it on and all this stuff. And so, yeah, I've been, I've used it for two nights now. And so far, so good. It hasn't disrupted my sleep. And, you know, we'll see how it goes. I'll give you a wrinkle report <laughs> for a couple months. I don't know. I don't know how long it'll take to get rid of years of, of, uh, right. 40 years of this boob smash wrinkles. I don't know what else to call them. I'm sorry, ladies. <laughs> boob smash wrinkles. That should boob be a hashtag. Wrinkles. So then I was doing my makeup this morning and here's my other one that I didn't go through theater school. So I did not think about how my face was going to age and wrinkle as I got older. In fact, I should have you like, look at me and analyze me, (laughs) but so I have dimples, right? Yeah. I love your dimples. I know, but now they have wrinkles, like (laughs) smile lines. (laughs) They have wrinkles, ladies. <laughs> I was not expecting that one. I don't know why. I should have thought of it. It's just like a, a smile line, right? I guess. Because they're yeah. there. They smile, so I don't know. But I, yeah, I have a wrinkle that goes like through my dimple. You know. <laughs> I have one right here. Because I have such a prominent chin, right? My chin. And so I don't know what causes it, but right here. Yeah. I oh, saw the one right here. John noticed it before I did. <laughs> and he's been telling me about this one. He's like, you know, you got a wrinkle right there. Hey, thanks, oh, honey. <laughs> Good one. And then I've been, you know, I do squint or frown. I don't know. I don't think I frown yeah. a lot, but I do squint. So I get that one. And then I inherited wrinkles on my forehead from my dad. My dad has those, you know, and I, I think it's genetic, like, I just have always had it since my 20s, wrinkles across my forehead. I try not to do the eye lift thing. I tried Botox once, wasn't my cup of tea. I Googled Botox once um, and all the side effects popped up and I was like, nope, <laughs> nope. I'm really, I'm really paranoid about side effects just in general yeah, from anything. Yeah, right? I am too. And you know, I tried to, I tried this in my 20s. Um, and it just, you know, maybe it was too early in the Botox days. I don't know. Cause I like, couldn't raise my eyebrows anymore. You know, I couldn't have facial expressions is how I felt. And I was like, this is just weird. I just Did you know? Oh, I okay. So I got to, I have no upper lip. Right. And I've, I've always had a thin upper lip, but as I get older, it's just like non-existent anymore. And did you know you can get Botox and it just lifts your lip and it's, it just goes boop. So I did not know that, except my daughter told me this. <laughs> um, Your 15-year-old already knows about lift lips. I know. What does that say about our know. society? It says a lot. It says a lot. It says a lot about what's out there on social media for them to watch. Yeah. Um, and what they're teaching them about. But yeah, I have the same thing. In fact, we always joke that when I smile, I go all gums and teeth and my lip disappears. <laughs> And you know what? That's just how I was built. And I don't mind it. (laughs) So So I have, go ahead. ahead. No, (laughs) I was going to say, so I have my weird menopause symptom that's coming. It's right. I'm wrinkles, whatever. Yeah. I'm getting them. I know it. I hate it. Here's the thing. I, okay. So I'm sitting at my desk working away and suddenly, and this happened a couple of weeks ago and it's been happening off and on since then my big toe it feels like somebody took a a needle and charged it with an electric charge and stuck it in my big toe and they pulled it out and they stuck it in again (laughs) and it happens like three or four times 
and then it stops. And it's nerve really, stuff. well, that's what I thought. But then I was like, so when we first started researching the kinds of symptoms that women could have, I remember coming across things in forums like women talking about electric shock. Mm-hmm. They feel like their extremities are being shocked. And I was like, I don't, what does that mean? Well, now I know what it means and it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh no I don't know what you do to combat them uh, mm-hmm. I don't know what causes them I gotta go down the rabbit hole and figure that out because it's driving me nuts yeah and I wonder wow. if it had something to do with the fact that I put heels on because I was gonna dress up right <laughs> <laughs> or if it's just because I haven't noticed it really happening in my hands hmm. just Not in just my feet mostly in my feet and and specifically my big toe on my right foot but it's happened it's happened like across the board on my toes now so but I'm gonna go down the rabbit hole on research for this because I don't know what's causing it and it's and it needs to be looked into so maybe that's one of the things I'll talk to Dr. Ariana about Ooh, maybe she'll know she's women's health I don't know if she'll know all those kinds of symptoms that'd be interesting to know well, and we got a whole, I got a, oh, I have so many questions I want to ask her. So, you know, <laughs> I'll save my personal I'm questions. Series. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited about that conversation. I'm excited to do that interview. Me so. too. She is, she's a lot of fun. I think you guys are going to really like watching her and listening to her. And she's yes. just so relatable. And I want that in a female doctor, right? Yes. I don't, I don't want you to come on and be like, I mean, I love expertise, don't get me wrong, Um, but I want someone who has expertise, who is relatable and understands what I'm going through, and man, she is it. Yeah, and not even just relatable. I mean, she's real. I mean, she will, she's, you know, very straightforward, and she'll tell you like it is, and I love that about her, so um, I'm excited for her to come on. Me too. So it's Valentine's Day, and I know, yes. ladies, you're probably going to see this in a week, and Valentine's is going to pass, but here's what I want to say, that I hope that you took some time to love yourself, and love yourself in so many ways, um, whether it's just reflecting and realizing your characteristics and the beauty that you have within you, because you are beautiful, Um even though sometimes we're harsh on ourselves, we're harshest on ourselves, you know, when everyone else looks at us, they see a beautiful person and you should see a beautiful person. And so I wanted to talk about what, and I have my little love cup today. Um, I did in celebration of Valentine's Day. I love the holidays, but um, I was thinking about it and I was like, you know what, outside of, yeah, it's Valentine's Day. Sometimes we get stuck on, okay, well, I don't have a partner or, you know, even, You know, I think about as I go through a holiday like this, where it's so focused on outside love, so love with another person, that I think about all the women that have had struggles through midlife, through menopause, uh, with the relationships, and, um, and I know that there's a lot of women out there that feel alone, um, you know, and as a holiday like this approaches, they feel alone whether it's alone in dealing with their menopause and they actually do have a spouse or they feel alone because maybe their marriage just or relationship just fell apart because you know of the changes they went through in menopause. Maybe that was just naturally gonna happen anyways. Um, Dr. Ariana Scholes has some great stories about you know her transition into menopause and how that affected her relationship and it just affects your mind ladies and it affects you know your mood and we don't see it you know we talked about that a little bit last time and so I want to remind you ladies even if it's after Valentine's Day to love yourself to take a moment and really realize that you're precious and that you're special and to remember to love you to love yourself and you know remember that sometimes us as women, we put everyone else first. I know I do that as a mother, as a wife, you know, everybody else comes first. Um, remember to put yourself first a couple times, you know, take a walk just by yourself. Listen to the music you want to listen to. Get yourself rubbed up, you know, take a bubble bath by yourself and just relish in it. You know, maybe it's, I was thinking about what am I going to do for myself this weekend? 
And for me, it was, I think I'm going to do a bath, which is a rarity for me. Um, but I was also thinking like, oh, I'm going to do like a hair treatment. I'm going to put some oil in my hair and <laughs> those things that you never take the time to do on a regular basis. At least I don't. I'm busy, you know, um, with kids, with work, with everything else. And life just catches up and you feel like you just don't have time to do that kind of stuff. And so I like doing that, that kind of stuff sometimes too. And, um, and I love doing home treatments. So I'm going to put some oil in my hair and <laughs> there for an hour or two and then shower or do a bath and uh maybe read a book i was gonna pick up uh dr ariana's book um i've started reading it it's really good um and i'm hoping i can finish it this weekend um and just take a little time for myself the other thing i was thinking of i always wear my hair down ladies you will see all my pictures it's always straightened down it's just my style like i get stuck in a rut um and I was thinking, you know, I might try a few new hairstyles this weekend and see if I can find something new and fun that I like. And so maybe on a video coming up, you'll see me with a different hairstyle. Ooh. Okay. I want you to send me pictures though. Okay. As you try them out, because you're going to be your own harshest critic and you're going to be like, yeah. I don't like the way this, and it's actually going to be beautiful. Make sure you send them to me. Okay. okay. I will. <laughs> All right. So what are you doing? And if you haven't thought about it yet, Thinking about it now, what are you going to do? Uh, so <clears throat> that's a really good question because I haven't thought about it. I, as you said, thought about everybody else first. So I have a little Valentine's Day gift. We know in, in our family, we don't do a lot, um, right? We tell each other we love each other every day. And it's, you know, expressing love is not, um, not held off for one day. Like mm -hmm. I, some, you know. I knew some folks growing up who were like that, their families were like that, that's just how they were. That's never been, you know, uh, the way I was raised or, or the way that I raised my child. <clears throat> but, so if I have little gifts tucked away in my closet. Um, I have no idea what I'm gonna do for myself. So this is a good point, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't thought about it at all. Um, but you know what? Just as much as I not thought about it, ladies, think about it. All yeah, right. absolutely. And that's probably a good place to end today. If it's, it's past Valentine's Day by the time you see this, and it's okay to love yourself every single day, to take a half an hour out of your weekend and give yourself a little bit of care, that it's okay to do that. I think this is a really good message. Danielle, you can see why I love her so much because... <laughs> Because she's always, always right on the money with her advice. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. <laughs> always right on the money with her advice and what she, and what she tells you um, as a friend. So, you know, listen to Danielle. I do. Love you. Love, Love you too. too. So take some time for yourself this weekend. Anytime, every weekend, take a minute and just really sit back and realize how much you should and hopefully do appreciate yourself. So, all right. Love you, Vanessa. All right. I love you too, sweetheart. Okay, guys, we will see you next week. Bye-bye.